All games and programs have data such as coins, countdowns, and levels stored as variables. Let's take a typical game where you want to collect as many coins as possible. Coins will typically be stored as an int value. That means there is going to be a whole number without decimals. Whereas a timer, for example, would probably be either a double or a float type. That's because timers and countdowns usually have decimal numbers, which count down to show you exactly how many milliseconds are left before you can use the skill again. To demonstrate how to use Cheat Engine to modify these values by going to Help and starting the Cheat Engine tutorial. I'll press Next to go to the first level. So in this first level, if we ignore the text, you have a health countdown. Every time you click on the Hit Me button, the health will be decreased. Your goal for this one is to set the health to 1000. There are multiple ways to do this and I'm going to demonstrate a few of them. So the first thing I want to do is go into the Process Selector and then select the Tutorial, which is the window I want to modify. In this case, it's Tutorial I386. If you wanted to modify values for another game or process, you could simply select it from this list or going into the process window and selecting it from here. But as mentioned, I'll be using the tutorial process. Now that the process is selected, I'm not exactly sure if the health variable is stored as an int value. In Cheat Engine, int values are 2-byte, 4-byte, and 8-byte. Since I'm not exactly sure, I'm going to select all for type. Now the first way to do this is by using the exact value scan type. Now that the health is 85, I'm going to enter 85 in the value. Once I hit the first scan, it's going to print out every single memory address, which you can imagine as a variable, that contains the value 85, which is the health I'm looking for. But as you can see, I get way more results than 1. To be able to narrow down these results, I'm going to press hit me again, and the health has been reduced to 83. Now I can already see here that in the list, one variable has been reduced to 83. This is probably the address I'm looking for. I can add it to the list by either double clicking it, or simply pressing the arrow here. But let's say you got thousands of results here and there was no way you could simply find it by eye. What you would do then is just in the value text, write the new value, which in this case is 83. And then when I do the next scan, it's going to filter all of the values inside of the list and only display the ones that have the 83 as a value. And here, as we can see, we have the value we recently added right here. Now, if I want to confirm that this is actually the value I'm looking for, I can hit hit me a couple of times and you can see that the value is actually being modified as the health on the program. Now, if you want to test a bit, you can try double clicking on the value or simply right clicking it, pressing change record value and it then if you set it to 200, for example, and then press enter, you're going to see that the health here doesn't actually change. But if you press hit me, you can see that it did actually apply the health we modified. So again, here to finish this level, we can set it to 1000, press OK, and then the next button becomes available. In this next example, you can see that we don't actually know the health value and we just have a health bar. So an exact value type scan will not actually work unless you know the initial value and exactly how much health you're losing. That's why in scan type, you can set it to unknown initial value and it will scan every single memory address inside of this game. Again, I'm not exactly sure if the value is stored as a 4 byte, 8 byte, so I'm going to select all. And after setting it to unknown initial value and doing the first scan, you can see that we got a little bit over 2,600,000 results. From here, there are multiple ways to go. The first one would be to press hit me, and then you can see that we got a minus 7. What I'm going to do here is set the scan type to decreased value, because the value first was over here, which was the maximum, but now it has decreased a bit. So if we compare the first value to the value now, it has decreased. So if I press next scan, it's going to filter down the results to only 7,500. I'm going to repeat this by pressing hit me again. It will decrease the health again. And then I'm going to do a decreased value scan again by pressing next scan. Now you can see that I haven't actually hit anything, but some of the values have already been changed. These are values that we're probably not interested in and we can filter them out by setting the scan type to unchanged value and pressing next scan. You can do this a couple of times to filter down the results even more if there are more values that are changing randomly. I'm going to press hit me again and set the scan type to decrease the value again. After repeating this a couple of times, I can notice that there are five values which may be interesting. This 47, 235, that is repeated four times. I'm going to select them all by holding control and then pressing the red arrow. And now I can test a bit and play around with them to see if any of these is actually the health bar. What I can notice is that when I'm moving the mouse around in the application, the four copied values are actually changing. That means that they are probably not what I'm looking for. So if I try changing this to, for example, 500, you can see it resets back to 235. And the only value that doesn't change is 47. I'm going to try putting this one back to 100. And now if I press hit me, you can see that the health actually increased back to 100. If I, for example, set it to 25 and then press hit me again, it's going to go down to 25. Now to proceed with this level, I need to set it to 5,000. 
Now we have a total of 5000 health even though it's not visible, but the next button is available and if I press hit me you're going to see that the health it goes all the way to 5000 which can't actually be rendered. I'm going to clear out all of the values and do this again with a different method. Since I don't know the initial value, I'm going to set unknown initial value again and do the first scan. Now you might have noticed but when you press hit me it shows a number below. Now when I pressed hit me you can see that the health decreased by 1. That means that in the scan type you can set a decreased value by and then set the value to 1. That means that it's going to compare all 2.3 million results and see exactly which one has decreased by a total of 1. When I press next you can see that it narrowed down the results to only about 370. I press hit me again and this time it's minus 7 so I'm going to do decreased value by 7 and then press next scan. Now I can press it again you can see it's minus 9 so this time decreased value by 9 next scan and then I only have 14 addresses left. Sometimes when you're doing this, you're going to notice that there are a few values that are like pulsating or just moving really randomly. Again, you can filter them out by setting it to unchanged value and then press the next scan. Again, I didn't actually do anything, but you can see that some of the values here changed. So I'm going to set unchanged value and next scan again. Now, if I press hit me again, you can see that there are some of the values here that are changing. The one that looks really interesting is this 230. Now that all of these results have been found, I can probably say that this is the value I'm interested in. Numbers like these, which are extremely big, are usually not really useful, but that really depends on the case and what you're actually scanning for. I added it to the list and I'm going to test if it actually matches this loading bar by pressing hit me a couple of times. And I can see that right now it's 182 and 182 minus 7 is 175, so this is actually the value I'm interested in. And if I try setting it to 5000, the next button becomes available. I reset the game once again and now I'm going to demonstrate how to do it in a third way. As usual I'm going to start with an unknown initial value scan. Then I'm going to press hit me so the value has changed. So now I can go to scan type and set a changed value. That means that it's going to filter out all of the results compared to the first scan that have changed from their initial value. I can notice that some of these values have changed while I haven't actually hit the hit me button. So what I'm going to do is set the scan type to unchanged value and then press next scan. I'm going to do this a couple of times and you can see that almost every single time I press it, the search results become smaller and smaller. Now I'm going to press hit me again and then set the scan type to changed. I'm down to 284 and now I'm going to set the scan to unchanged, move around the mouse on the window a bit to let some of these values change to something they're not supposed to change to and then set a next scan. I'm going to press hit me again, set the scan type to change value and press a next scan. I repeated this a couple of times and can't get it down below 132. But here you can already notice a couple of interesting things. For example, here you have the value 12. And you can see that every single time I press hit me, it's going to increase by 1. This is pretty useless in this scenario, but you always discover new things when scanning for something. What I can probably do now, since the list is pretty small, is just scroll down a bit and try to find the value which makes sense. Here, as in the previous scans, I can find the duplicated values, which were actually pretty useless, since you can see they pulse sometimes. And if I go down a bit further, you can see the 180, which was the number we were interested in. And if I actually go here and change this value to 5000, then the next level becomes available. So this was actually the value we were interested in. That pretty much sums up the basics of how to use Cheat Engine, and now I'll give a practical example with an actual game. So right here, I have a game open in the BlueStacks Android emulator. To select the BlueStacks Android emulator, I need to go to the Processes tab and then select HD Player. Right now I have a total of 75 coins. I don't exactly know which value type it is, so I'm going to set it to All and Exact Value 75. Now I'm going to play a game and collect some coins. Now I have a total of 82 coins, so I set the Scan value to 82 and press Next Scan. As you can see, I have a couple of results with one result that keeps changing constantly. To filter out again, I'm going to play again and collect a couple of coins. So here I have a couple of values that looked like the coins I have in the game, so I'm going to set these to 50,000 and play a game. After playing, you can see that the coins have now been applied to the account. I'm going to test this once again by setting these two value types by right-clicking Change Record Value and setting it to 999,000. And now, as you can see, these two memory addresses were actually the amount of coins the account had. And now if I try to go to the shop and try to purchase characters, you can see that the coins do actually work and are not just display values. What I'm going to do now is enable the pause the game while scanning feature. This will completely freeze the process while the scan is ongoing. A quick example where this would be useful is let's say you're trying to find the value 10. You start the scan and the scan is taking a while. What if during the scan the value changes from 10 to 11 and then the value you were actually interested in is not going to be found in the scan because the scan is taking too long. So what I'm trying to figure out is the amount of coins up here. 
Now this does take quite a bit of effort, but you can see I actually found the value that displays the amount of coins I have collected during the run. What I'm going to do here is try to modify these while playing to trick the game into thinking I have collected more coins than I actually have. And there you go, you can see that I changed it to 999,000 and now when I collect coins it gets updated to a ridiculously high value. You can see that the coins do actually give you a score, so you have a ridiculously high score. And you can see that the coins have actually been applied to the account as well. So yeah, that's it for the beginner's guide to cheat engine. I hope you enjoyed the video, I'm Kian and see you in the next one. Top